Welcome back to Tune Up Tuesday. My name is Joe Gambino, and today we're going to go over the shoulder, uh, particularly shoulder stability. Because the shoulder is such a mobile joint, um, it's going to need two things. One is going to need to be stable uh, by the shoulder blade and the humerus connection here, this arm here. Um, and it's also going to need to have um, the ability to almost disassociate itself from the rest of the body. So that we're going to cover next week. But for this week, we're going to go over some ways that three drills that I really like for shoulder stability. So the first one is going to be in the sphinx position, working on um, shoulder stability this way. So we'll come down here on the ground. We're going to come up onto our elbows, and we're going to start with our shoulder blades retracted. From here, we're going to push the floor away, kind of protracting our shoulder blades, making sure our hip bones stay on the ground. We're going to try to maintain the shoulder position and we're going to reach out. We're going to come back in, reset the shoulder blade so we can reset the blades, work our stability, and then reach out again. What we're looking for here is to maintain our base of support over our arms and not lean to the side or drop the shoulder. Okay, those are two common faults we see with people who lack stability in this position. All right. From here, another great example would be using a band to strengthen the posterior side of the shoulder, an often underlooked um, area that I see in most training programs and rehab programs. So with the band, what we can do here is you can grab a band that has a pretty decent resistance, start with your arm straight out in front of us. We're going to pinch our shoulder blades, getting some nice resistance on the band. And then from here, you can bring yourselves up into a Y, Come back down and come back out. Squeeze, a little band pull apart. Keep those blades tight as you come up. Come back down and then reach back out. So that's a nice drill. You could do about eight reps on each side, trying to use a tempo training where it's almost three seconds to pull into your chest, maintain that tension, and then three seconds to let those shoulders unwind and come back into protraction. And then the last one that I'm really a big fan of is the arm bar with the kettlebell uh, for a couple reasons. All right, one is going to help take our shoulder blade into a packed position, allowing it to have uh, stability that way. And then we're going to challenge it with the weight that's overhead. So in order to sit up here, all right, we're going to lay on our back. Same knee will be bent as holding the kettlebell. We're going to grab a nice tight grip here because grip will be tightly associated with turning on the rotator cuff and shoulder stability, you're gonna to wanna to get a nice tight grip on that kettlebell and not just let it sit passively in your hand. So once you have your grip, you can feel your lats engage. You're going to use this leg, the leg that's bent to start your roll. Once you've rolled onto your side, you're gonna bring that leg over the top and try to rotate it into the ground. So now this will focus as a shoulder stability drill by challenging you just in this packed shoulder position and at the same time doubling as almost a thoracic spine mobility drill, which is one reason why I love it the most. And then you're gonna come back around, maintaining good balance through the core, through the shoulder, set it down, and there's your third drill. And how we talked about how grip and the shoulder are tightly associated, you may also benefit from doing grip work on both hands um, to help strengthen the shoulder because the tighter your grip strength can be, the stronger the rotator cuff and the shoulder will be and vice versa. Give those drills a try and I will see you guys next Tuesday.